School children are carrying heavy backpacks that can cause health problems throughout their lives. Joining us with some advice, qualified yoga teacher and personal trainer Amy Jeffries. Good morning, Amy. Good morning. Let's start by talking about the kind of health issues that stem from heavy school bags. They will be getting postural issues if they're carrying the school bags incorrectly. Right, and that's, there, there are other things that they could be doing that might be causing problems? Well, when they're carrying their backpacks incorrectly, um, they will be affecting their breathing. Right, we can see on screen there, so by incorrectly you mean one over one of the shoulders or sort of like the straps aren't in the right place, all that sort of thing? Absolutely. Some kids carry their bags over one shoulder. They should carry them over two shoulders. Yeah, which, um, which is it's hard sometimes to get kids to do. So what, mm. if we're starting with school bags, what should we be doing differently for our children? Well, we can help them pack them correctly. Yeah. So we would pack the heaviest items in the bottom. Why is that important? So that the backpack is centred low. So when you put the backpack on the child's back, it's sitting low so that they can carry it more with their centre of gravity. And you also have to make sure you pull the straps down so it's fitted quite closely to their backs. Right, so actually make sure that they've got the straps in the right position is important. Make sure that. Heavy things in the bottom. That's right. So when you're packing the backpack, make sure everything is um, packed away properly. Heavy things in the bottom. Um, no unnecessary items is really important. Like I go into my daughter's backpack and there's mm. extra books that she doesn't need for school. She doesn't need to be carrying those. Yeah. So just make sure your backpack for your children are... Um, as light as possible. As light as possible. So that would be like removing all the six apples that they haven't eaten <laughs> from the previous lunches, which are rolling around the bottom. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, that is actually something I have to do on mm. a regular basis. So as a fitness professional, do you see adults with problems that stem from childhood sort of issues or childhood carrying backpacks? I do, and I even had problems myself once. I was wearing a backpack on one shoulder, uh, or a strap bag on one shoulder and a backpack on one shoulder, and it did cause problems. So how does that actually, what actually happens? It just sort of makes you like a little bit lopsided? Yes, it does, absolutely. And the other thing about wearing a backpack, if the backpack's not fitted correctly as well, you ended up, some kids will end up back here and then with a forward head, which is really bad for their, for their posture. Other kids have rounded shoulders, rounding forward, which is what affects your breathing, which affects brain function. Right, so, so basically by having your backpack wrong or too heavy or carrying it the wrong way, that will affect your breathing, that could affect how, what's going, well, how you're learning at school. That's correct. There's a lot of things to be thinking about as a child and as a parent as well. Uh, we can see some pictures there about what's the right way and what's the wrong way. So the, the wrong way, I take it, it's too loose? It's too loose and, and it's down way too low. And so the right way is you have it sort of fitting up sort of at the top of their sort of buttocks, would that be right? Yes, not touching their buttocks, but mm. just sitting quite low, low down um, and in tight. So what I do when my kids leave for school every, every, every couple of days is just make sure that the straps are pulled tight, it's close to their backs and everything is um, being carried down low in they their can backpack. Loose, they can loosen when they're you know, wandering around. What they do with their backpacks throughout the day too, they throw those things all over the place. They is do. there anything else we could do to sort of help our children with their posture? Absolutely. Um, you could send them outside, climbing trees and playing because it helps to strengthen their bones. Right. What about yes. yoga? Absolutely. You can do yoga, yoga for children because it creates um, good body awareness. What sort of age could they start doing that sort of oh, thing? Oh, any age. Yeah. Any age? Yeah, absolutely. Preschool. Make Excellent. it fun. Yep. Make it fun. That's the key, isn't it? Yes, to make it fun. The other thing to do as well, um, you know, you're a parent, you're a good role model for right. your children. So what you are doing, they will want to do as well. So you can just do simple things by making sure that you are sitting up straight, making sure that if you are wearing a bag, that you are wearing it tightly pulled close to the body over two shoulders. Right. Yep. That is something that I may need to work on, the, uh, carrying the bag correctly, but I think it's a very valid point. Mm. Hey, that's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming in with those tips today. Great advice.